It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are at the midway point of the week, but around here these spots, that means it is Wasslin' Wednesday. What do you want to talk about today, John? Man, we're going to throw one at him. I bet ain't nobody ever seen before. Okay. Big Thunder Gene Kanitsky. Gene Kanitsky? Yeah, Canada's greatest athlete. Heard all about him, but I, I don't know that I've ever seen a match by Gene Kanitsky. Well, he was the NWA champion. Back when that was the that was the standard bear. That was the belt. That was the belt. That was before the WWWF, you know, became what it is today. When, or the AWA. That's right. You know, but now he was the AWA champion. And then he turned around and won that one. Yep. That's right. He he uh, he beat uh, uh, Vern Gagne, and uh, in 1961 for the belt, and kept it a while. Uh, you know, he was. Uh, He's father of Kelly Kaniski. You remember? You remember watching now, I, Kelly Kaniski? I, I do remember that one. Yes. Uh, and he had a younger son uh, that was also a wrestler and, and owned a bar there uh, where they lived. And he was kind of the he was kind of the doorman for the bar, you know. Okay. But he uh, uh, he was trained by Dory Funk, Senior. Uh, he was six four, weighed two hundred and seventy pounds, which is a from formidable athlete for the time you know? oh yeah back then he was huge debuted in 1952 wow and and wrestled till 1994 yep but he uh he was uh he defeated luthez for the nwa title in january of 66 in st louis and uh, at the keel auditorium and uh you know he was a heel and which automatically made him a big draw sure uh but he uh he traveled the he traveled work back in those days you know, you travel the world, and you know you were in a different city every night. And uh, you know he just uh, he kept the belt about three years and just was wore out. Told him that you know he just had to he had to drop the belt. He was just road weary, beat up. You know, I'm sure I can only imagine what that does to you, having to be in a different a bit different city every night. A different hotel, a different cab, a, a different ride from the airport. You know, over three sixty five because there ain't no off season in wrestling. No, there wasn't no especially off-season. for the world champ. Uh, he lost it to Dory Funk Jr. in nineteen sixty nine and was glad to give it up. And he became a he became a, a, a TV pitch man. He was an actor. He acted in a lot acted in a, several movies and TV shows. Of course, he was always a you know in those days the. The former champion was always the guest referee in a big, you know, big match somewhere. Oh yeah, uh, you know he he refereed uh, matches for the NWA, the AWA, and the WWWF. Uh, he also he also wrestled San Martino uh, in Madison Square Garden. Uh, you know, back in those days, they had two out of three falls. Right. He won the first fall and thought that he won the second fall and and left with the belt. And they had, of course, that. All that was was a rematch, you know, to uh, set up the big return. Set up the big return like they did in those days, you know. But he uh, he was a uh, a tough as nails guy, no nonsense guy, you know, uh, flat top haircut, uh, you know, um, just a tough tough guy. Uh, passed away at age eighty one uh, in twenty ten from cancer, but just a tough tough guy. Hard man to beat, hard man to pin down. One of those guys that when he told you he was coming for you, he was coming for you. There you go. Yeah, you mentioned he did uh, referee and later on. That was, uh, as a, from a younger generation, that was one of my only times I saw uh, saw him was he refereed the big Starcade match between Harley Race and Ric Flair, Starcade right. 83, very right. first one. Right, so. that's right. And, and you know, they, they would always, of course, you know, he would always uh, – uh, uh, inter- you know they they would always end up intervening. Yep, getting involved. You know somebody would smart off to them and they'd push them and and this that and the other. You know, but Big Thunder Gene Kaniski was as tough as, as tough as they came, tough as nails, uh, 
back when the NWA champion had all the respect in the world. Uh, no question about it. Hey, that's going to wrap up Remember When with Uncle John here for today. But we do want to thank all of our wonderful sponsors, including Sherwin-Williams House Paint over there at 315 Jefferson Street. Give them a holler at 836-8125. And the Shopper's Guide, give old JJ a call at 836-3022. And if you need any printing needs he'll fix you up without question also pro med ambulance service better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them give them a call 1-800-634-0436 and you can always go back and find us on our podcast anytime folks including apple podcast spotify iheart radio or google podcast i guess we'll see you tomorrow john see you tomorrow kelly you've been listening to remember when with uncle john on y95 This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.